Want one of those cool widgets showcasing your pins from Pinterest on your website? Well, they're quick and easy to make, and you can stick them on your website, your blog, or anywhere else that strikes your fancy. Today I'll be showing you how to make a Pinterest widget for your website. Let's head over to Pinterest. Once logged in, click this tool icon in the top right corner of your screen. Then select Make a Widget. Once this dialog box pops up, you can see there is some HTML code and a preview of the widget below that. This preview is how the widget will look wherever you decide to place it. The code you need is automatically highlighted. Simply copy the entire string of code and paste it wherever you want the widget to go. You will need to have access to the HTML of wherever you want to paste it. If you are not familiar with HTML or would like assistance, please contact Skyberry Studio and we'll be happy to help. If you would like more control over the look of your Pinterest widget, there are some additional options available. Simply click Learn More. So if we scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see that there is the Pinterest user URL, which has Pinterest.com and then your username. And then it shows custom sizes that you have available to you, along with a preview of how the widget will look, and then the code you'll need to make that widget. So if we click on Square, you'll see that the Square widget is just that, pretty square. If you click on sidebar, this one's really long and skinny and this would be really useful for the sidebar of a blog. If you click header, this widget is really long and wide and it could be useful for say a footer of a website where you might have other uh, links to other social media accounts. It would fit really nicely in there. And if you click Roll Your Own, you get a little more control and a little more customization options. So you can actually set the image width, and by image width they're referring to the width of your pins, and then the board height and the board width, which is the overall dimensions of your widget. So once you've picked one you like, so we'll click Square, scroll down, and you'll hit Build It, and it'll update the code. It's down below, down here, and so if you click in the box, it'll highlight all the code for you. You can right click, click copy, and then you can paste that HTML wherever you want your widget to live. And that's how you make a Pinterest widget for your website. If you have a question or topic you'd like to know more about, please leave a comment below and it may be featured in next week's video. You can find us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Skyberry Studio. You can also find us on our website at skyberrystudio.com. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again next week for another Quick Tip Tuesdays.